Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Join me today as I take a trip to the floating villages and markets at Kampong, just outside Siem Reap in Cambodia. I'm just going through the Siem Reap city now in a tuk tuk, and you can see the many shops along the side, side streets. Now you've got clothes shops, food shops, restaurants, cafes. There are quite a few phone shops and also we're just passing a pharmacy there and a chemist. So they do have all the shops that you would, you would expect to find in a sizable city. We're just coming outside of the of the city now. Actually, no, we we just we're still in the city, and you can see the river there. This river flows right through the centre of Siem Reap. This river, it's actually called the Siem Reap River, and is part of the Mekong River, which runs through Cambodia. It flows through Thailand and it goes through Laos and I believe into Vietnam. It's the second largest river in Southeast Asia. And there's my tuk-tuk driver there. I have hired him for the week his rates are very reasonable and he is um, very knowledgeable on the CM Reap area and also the temples of Angkor Wat. If anyone is thinking about visiting Cambodia, I highly recommend that you find a good tuk-tuk driver and stay with him for as long as you're there. We're on the river now, the Ton Lai Sap River, which joins the Ton Lai Sap Lake, and the Mekong River does flow into these waters. You can see there the boats moored up on the bank, and here you can see the this is the floating village where you can see the wooden wooden built houses on 40 foot high stilts. floating villages on the Ton Lai Sap River and Lake have become something of an interest for tourists visiting Siem Reap. The fascination with people who live in floating houses, travel to floating schools and eat at floating restaurants is quite an attraction for the many visitors that come to Cambodia. As well as the floating villages there are also stilted villages, like the villages you can see here in the, the houses on the side of the river. They are stacked on the banks of the, of the Tonlay Sap River, where houses and buildings rest on tall, thin stilts that keep the occupants dry during the wet season, with giant ladders to reach the lower levels during the dry season. And this is the dry season now, so the water is very low. It's hard to imagine that during the wet season, the waters will rise to those, those bays that you can see on the top of the stilts. As you can see here in the boats and some of the houses, there's lots of fishing nets and other types of fishing equipment and that's how most of the people that live in these villages that's how they make their money how they make their living through fishing shrimp catching and that type of thing
several communities of people are living on the Tonlai Sap River and Lake. There are four main villages that are accessible from Siem Reap and a variety of ways to get there. The villages are Chong Nias, Mekre, Kampong Fluk and Kampong Kliang. Kampong Fluk, which literally means harbour of the Tusks, is actually three villages with mainly stilted houses that line the main entrance to the Tonlaisap Lake from this area. It's just over 30 kilometres from Siem Reap and can be easily managed in a half day trip. The community sustain themselves mainly on catching fish and shrimp as already mentioned but also harvest some land crops during the dry season. The road trip and also the river trip are relatively short compared to some of the other villages. A private company will ferry you there through the village to the lake as that is the main destination. There aren't any activities that tourists normally can do in the Kampong Flok as this is a working village and most of the people are focused on their own industry, quite separate, quite separate to the tourism industry buzzing past their doors. Literally going right past the houses of the locals can be interesting to view another way of life but it can feel quite invasive as well especially knowing these residents aren't either involved in or receiving any benefit from the industry however nearby there are small boats that can take you around the mangroves or flooded forest which is a more authentic experience there are also a few floating restaurants and stopping here also supports some of the local tourism industry. The houses and boats are tightly packed in as you can see and many people live here and they are mostly Vietnamese, poor Vietnamese migrants. I'm not sure what the material there is in these boats. It looks like, like wool. And there you can see a couple of the local villages. It looks like they're trying to catch fish or shrimp. And the building here just in the distance with the cross on top, maybe that's a local church. And the people here, they look very resourceful. They must have built the houses by hand, these wooden platformed houses, and I wonder if they built the boats themselves as well. They probably did. And the water in the river looks quite muddy, quite sandy. And maybe that's because it is the dry season and the water's low and the boats driving up and down disturb the mud and the sand on the bottom of the, of the river. It may be that when it's in wet season and the waters are deeper that the water becomes a little bit more, more clear. And I've come out of the motorised boat that I was travelling in now and I'm in one of these small canoe type things and just going into the flooded forest or mangrove forest and the locals, the villagers, some of them they work out, out of here so it's a bit of a floating market that they bring the tourists into here and many of them they sell small things, fruit, fresh fruit, drinks, packets of rice cakes, that type of thing and here you can see the mangroves, the trees which they get totally covered when it's in the wet season. 
I don't know if there are any crocodiles in these waters, but I'm not going to stick my hand in, in to find out. It is a magical experience to see this flooded forest. I wouldn't have thought that they would have survived myself, but they do. You can see that they, they surely do. And I don't know if you can see them, but there are lots, there are lots of mosquitoes just hovering over the top, the surface of the water. I did get stung a few times. So we're just taking a leisurely pace through the mangrove forest here and we're heading out onto the Tonlay Sap Lake. And you can see, clearly see the mosquitoes there. There's hundreds of them. And here's my driver here, she's doing very well. And you can see her, she's got a packed lunch with her there in a bag. And now we are on the main Tonlay Sap Lake and we're going out to the restaurant, to the, the floating restaurant, one of those is a restaurant. Thanks for watching until the end. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. Look out for my other videos which will be coming out very soon. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.